hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here hello you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell thank you so much so in the last update about this is fate sonak she actually confessed that she actually was pregnant for karan at a point during their college days and she gave birth to the baby but the baby died so what's now the stress i don't know so hearing this prita was angry and all the Lutra family went back to the Lutra mansion since the wedding that they went to Lunard Bla for has been cancelled. So on getting back to the Lutra mansion, Karan tried to apologize to Prita, but Prita was still angry. Let's continue from there. Karan calls Prita, but Prita's phone rings, so she leaves the room. Karan follows her, calling her name, but she doesn't respond. Shelly standing in the corner is really happy saying this. Sala says that she is coming to open the door. Shriti walks into the house and she is really tensed. Sala asks why the long face because they went to the wedding. So she asks what has happened. Karan is following Prita but she doesn't listen to him. Prithvi while walking sees them so he thinks that he wished for the storm to come and the storm has already arrived. Prithvi says this means that his prayer is being listened to. So now Prita is going away from Karan and very soon their romantic love story would end after which his love story with Prita would start. Karan is following Prita, however Prita doesn't listen and she enters the guest room. Karan says that he wants to talk with Prita but she doesn't respond. Prithvi thinks that this is really amazing. Karan once again knocks on the door saying that he wants to talk. However Prita replies that she doesn't want to talk. Karan leaves. Prita once again lies down on the bed. Sala asks Janki and Shruti if everything is fine. Shruti and Janki do not respond. Then Sala once again question, asking what has happened because she talked with Prita who said that she was fine but she felt that something is wrong as she woke up because the door was open and the holy fire was not lit. Shruti recalls when Prita said that she must not tell anything to Sala. She even asked Janki to lie because Sala would even know the truth. Shruti says that everything is fine. Sala threatens to slap her saying that she is lying and how can it be that after coming back from a wedding, she is not laughing and kissing her. Janki says that Shriti just entered the house and she has started scolding her. She then asks Janki why is the reason that she is crying. Shriti says that it is because she just returned after not telling her. Sala thinks that she gets mad without any reason so they must not worry and they should go and freshen up while she will go and make something for them to eat. Shruti and Janki leaves for their room. Sherilyn is in her room thinking that it is really amazing to see Karan and Prita fighting as they are now moving away from each other. She thinks that even now they are not fighting like she wants. So she wanted that Prita would leave while Karan would start acting like a madman. She wonders how it would happen. Then she vows to do it herself. Sherilyn plans to call Sala and tell her that Karan has deceived her daughter. She would come to the Lutra house to fight as she is always ready to stand for her daughter. This would then cause problems between both the families. Prita in her room think of how Sonak she says that she is the mother of Karan's child. Karan also thinks about Prita. Prita in her room picks the phone. Karan's phone also rings and he answers it saying that he knew that she would call him. Sonak she says that she called to apologize to him. Karan says that Sonak she has ruined his life and she should not even call him anymore. Sonakshi, while crying, says that she is really sorry for what she has done to Karan's life. Grandma in her room asks Karina why she is worried. Karina says that she is tensed about Prita because Prita is still pregnant and she fears if Prita would not want to go to her house and Prita might because of her middle class mentality, she might want to go to her mother's house. Grandma making Karina sit says that there is nothing of the middle and upper class. These differences have been created by them, but she feels if Prita desired to call her mother, then she would have already done so, but she did not do anything of sort. So this means that Prita wants everything to be normal, otherwise she would have called Sala by now. Grandma says that she feels that had not been any other girl, then Prita would have gone back to her house till now. She even thought of calling Sala by herself, but then she thought that it is a matter between a mother and a daughter. Sherilyn thinks that Sala will know the truth after some time, as now her phone has ended in battery, but it will recharge very soon. Sherilyn walks into the room and asks Grandma if she can take her charger from her purse. Grandma agrees, so Sherilyn leaves. Sherilyn entering her room thinks that she is really happy, and she prays that anything that will cause her happiness to end should not come to her. Sherilyn calls Sala, and Sala wonders who is it at this time. Sherilyn says that she knows that Sala is really angry with her, 
and there's always a fight between them, but she knows Prita really needs her. Saola asks Shelin to shut up because she knows Karan will really take care of her daughter, so she knows nothing wrong would ever happen to her. She asks Shelin to say it clearly. Shelin says that Sonakshi is the mother of Karan's child. Saola in anger calls Shriti. Shriti comes there and Sala asks what happened at the wedding of Sonakshi. Shriti replies nothing wrong happened, but Sala warns her not to lie because she knows the truth and she just wants to hear from their mouth. She knows the truth as Shelin told her everything, but she still doesn't want to believe them as Shelin is not that kind of a person. Saola says if what has happened is the truth, then why are they both in their house as they should be with Prita by now? Sala says that she would ask Prita herself. Sala calls Prita but she doesn't answer the call and she is thinking about the moment when Sonakshi accepted that Karan is the father of her child. Sala says that Prita is not answering her call. Shriti tries to talk with her but Sala says that she should not even try to talk with her and if she wants to talk, then she should review the truth otherwise she should not dare to talk. And Sala goes into her room and closes the door. Janki and Shriti both request Sala to open the door, saying that she is the strength of their family and how would they be able to face this situation without her. Shriti says that Prita warned them not to say anything to Sala, but she got mad and she is not opening the door. Prita and Sala both are crying in their rooms. Shriti requests Sala to open the door. Sala prays to God asking why did she do this to Prita, as she is also a mother and she never complained about the troubles in her life. And she always accepts every problem with a smile. And God snatched away her children from her, but she never complained. Sala says that she did not get the right to be responsible for the upbringings of Shriti and Prita, and she never complained about anything, but she cannot bear anything now. The storm that has come into the life of Prita must end. She cannot bear anything. Sala says this cannot happen with Prita because she has proved to pass in every test. The one relationship which she believes in should not be snatched away from her. That relationship should be given back to her as she always has the right to stay happy. Sala continues to cry. Prita in her room is lying down and she picks up the phone to see something. Karan entering his room thinks of how he tried to stop Prita but she did not listen to him and he went inside the room. Prita sit up on the bed. Karan in anger eats the stand so injured his hand. However, he doesn't care for the pain but he is only worrying for his wife, Prita. Prita is also not able to sleep in her room, and so she sits on the bed. Karan covers his eyes and then he thinks that Prita has come to him and plays her hand over his face. Karan holding Prita's hand started crying, but opening his eyes, he realized that it was just a dream, and so he gets worried. Prita once again lies down, but she hears the call of Karan, so she answers it, and she sits up and she started crying. Karan once again comes to Prita's room and he is about to knock when Prita opens the door. Prita gets shocked and turns back. Karan asks what is she doing as she should at least talk about what has happened. Prita says that she is in pain. Karan replies that he is the one in pain because Prita is not talking to him. Karan explains that he thought that she was angry with him. He assures her that he did not know anything otherwise if he had any clue then it would have come to her. Prita explains that a did happen when they were together, then she would have been really angry with him and it would even be justified. Prita explains that she is still angry knowing that it happened before they were even together, but even now she is not able to understand the feelings, which is why she came to this room. Prita explains that now that Karan knows the truth about his relationship with Sonakshi, so Karan might have some feelings for Sonakshi. Karan assures Prita that Prita is the only woman in his life and he can never even think of anyone else. Prita replies that Karan also means the most to her because he is her entire life. She explains that everyone thinks that she is a great woman, but she is really a normal girl. But Karan says that he feels that Prita is special because she made him into a husband from the flat Karan and Karan asks Prita. Prita explains that when Karan talks like this, she feels that she is really lucky to have a husband like him. Karan says that he is lucky to have Prita as his wife too and he would always remain her husband and Karan requests Prita to forget everything that happened today. Karan and Prita were sleeping together in the morning. She places her hand over his chest and waking him up. She smiles seeing him beside her in the bed so even hold him tightly smiling that she has her husband beside her. Karan also wakes up. Both Karan and Prita looks into each other's eyes and Karan then kisses Prita on her forehead 
and Prita once again get comfortable, then sitting up, says that they have slept in the guest room. Prita explains that they should leave now, otherwise everyone will get worried. Karan asks why is she worried about everyone. Prita replies that it is because she loves them all. Both Karan and Prita help each other up and walks out of the room. Grandma asks Raki what has happened. She replies that it is because she feels that there is something wrong. Because after what had happened at the wedding of Sonakshi, then she feared that the relationship of Karan and Prita might end. Grandma says that she was worried in the night, but when it did not happen, then she is not calm. Karina and Raki ask what does she mean. Grandma replies that she was worried that if Salah comes to know about what happened, then she would have come and they would not be able to say anything to her because she would be right. Shailene is standing at the corner hearing their conversation and Raki explains that she feared a lot for Prita and she worried if Prita would leave the house. It is because she loves the entire family a lot and she considered them as her own, which is why she did not leave the house. And even if someone from their family makes a mistake, then she doesn't tell her own family. Karina assures Raki that nothing of sorts would happen as Prita is a knowledgeable girl, so she will not do anything wrong and Raki must take care of her health. Shailene standing at the corner thinks that when Salah used to come, she would get mad, but now she is desperately waiting for her and she is wondering when Salah would come to score the Lutras. Prithvi coming there asks why is she smiling. Shailene replies that she told the entire incident to Salah and she is now waiting for Salah. Prithvi smiles and then greets the entire family. Grandma asks Shailene if she is well. Shailene asks Grandma why she is asking such a question. Grandma replies that it is because every day, Prita is the first one to come downstairs, but today Shailene came down before her. Shailene, however, takes it as a joke. Prita comes to them all, serving them the tea. Prithvi thinks that Prita is looking really sad, and she might even be planning a divorce. Grandma and Raki takes the tea, and Shailene thinks that she thought that Prita would not come out of the room, or maybe she will go to her own house, but there is nothing to worry about, because Sala is going to come and take her back. Shailene thinks that why has Salah not come, asking if Salah is not worried about her daughter. Shailene asks Prita if she is alright. Prita explains that she is fine. Karan also comes down from the stairs. Prita hands him the tea and they both smile. Prithvi thinks that he is not able to understand what is happening as he thought that they both will be fighting. The doorbell rings and Shailene smiles. Girish opens the door and it is Salah standing there. Prita is delighted to see her mother and she takes her blessings. Karan also takes her blessings. Raki invites her to have tea with them. Salah replies that she first wants to talk with Prita because she knows what has happened between them both, but she will first like to talk with Prita, after which she will talk with Karan. Janki asks Shriti, does she not think that they both should go to the Lutra house? Shriti, however, replies that she will not do anything against her will for the next three or four days. Janki replies that she felt that Salah might say something which would cause a lot of problems. Shriti explains that her mother is a lioness, but she is really clever, so she will not do anything wrong. Sala asks Prita why she did not tell her the truth, because she should have not eaten the truth. Prita assures her that she wanted to reveal the truth, but Sala replies that even then she eat it, and also asks Shriti not to say anything. Sala asks Prita what had happened, but Shriti did not say anything. This is how much she loves her. Prita explains that she wanted to tell her, but she was not able to decide on what to decide of her relationship. Sala explains that she would always say that Prita should take the decisions by herself, but now she has taken this decision on Prita's behalf, and now Prita will pack her belongings and come back with her to her house. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you enjoy it in any way, please don't forget to like it, share it, and please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Subscribe. We have to hit 100k this year. Thank you. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye guys.